What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Jordan Peele's Nope in this video here again today, talking about the character of Emerald Haywood and going into my thoughts on the point of this character because I know there's still a lot of people, if you're someone who's recently seen the movie, who have come out of it still thinking there was a lot that was pointless to the movie and I would say there's a lot that was very uh meaningful and not pointless as much as it might have been again as i stated in my reviews might have just been too vague so when we first meet emerald haywood who is portrayed by uh kiki palmer in this movie when we first see her on screen for the first time she is saving her introverted her introverted brother oj from this commercial shoot they're doing where he clearly doesn't want to sell what it is they want him to sell and he much rather would prefer emerald to come in and do it because he actually states that he was waiting for her to come in now, during this shoot, we learn that she has a lot of side gigs outside of the Haywood Horse Ranch that she was raised upon. Uh, she mentions singing and motorcycling, just to note a couple. In fact, when I'm saying this, I'm just now realizing that that subtle foreshadowing there with her mentioning motorcycling. If you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. So, again, that was some nice foreshadowing there. So, there's tension between her and her brother, likely due to how distant Emerald is to the business compared to OJ and their father, OJ Sr., who we know dies at the start of the movie. Emerald and OJ grew up around the Hollywood life due to their business of horses being used for film production stunt work. Emerald was a fan. We learned of a few of Ricky Jupe's projects as well as a kid. We learned this throughout the movie. Apparently, during her childhood, she was informed about the Gordy the Chimp incident from her father, OJ Sr., and I assume that because of her Hollywood ties, that the conversation she would have with her father as a little girl about some of these projects she was a fan of, as she saw on, on, on TV, this is what planted the seeds of her wanting to create her own legacy. And something that, of course, grew over time, and we see this play out full, full throttle, wholeheartedly, 100% with her desire to capture this money shot, this Oprah shot, as she called it. So there's a moment in the film where she even asks about a black star in one of Jupe's previous projects, I believe, who she says he just vanished. Now, Peel has already made comments about how this movie touches on like the spectacalization of black people. So I think that was a part of that. So similar to how Emerald was taught about her grandfather being forgotten, even though he plays like a a very even though he has like a very historic accomplishment. Emerald seems to have first been prompted to carve out her legacy separate from the horse ranch business after her horse that was going to be hers as a little girl, Jean Jacket, ended up not being hers like she was promised, and then the horse was ultimately sold. Meanwhile, OJ seems to have gotten more involved and invested in the business. Emerald most likely felt herself slipping into irrelevancy at this point after the incident went Jean Jacket as a little girl and she didn't want that. She also mostly she also most certainly would not want to carve her legacy with this business if this is how it would turn out where she would just be in the background and the Haywood name would be known and their ranch would be known and the, the work they provided to Hollywood would be, would be known but her herself Emerald Haywood as an individual would not be known. She didn't want to end up like the black kid on TV. She didn't want to end up like her her grandfather the jockey in the first motion picture or anyone else caught up in hollywood but no one knows who they are or really appreciates them on an individual level because they're just someone caught up in this this talented crew of people who help bring something to life but no one really gives them the credit they deserve so this is why she prides herself on her side gigs that she advertises during the commercial shoot and why she viewed the horse ranch business as the actual side gig. She expresses this in the movie. She thought of the horse ranch business as her side gig. So Emerald's desire to capture evidence of the Jean Jackie alien creature revealed later in the movie makes sense when considering all these details revealed prior to her plans to get the Oprah shot or the money shot again as she called it. This would be the best accomplishment at the moment to put herself in the spotlight and have a name for herself for the rest of time. This could be something that uh this could also be something that she gets to brag about during her side gigs which would only aid in those gigs becoming becoming more mainstream thus pushing her legacy even further and establishing her 
as who she wants to be an individual with a reputation with a legacy she wants to be known she wants to be emerald haywood she doesn't she doesn't want to get lost in the legacy of the haywood horse ranch business so her character is a great depiction of someone desperate to have it all and willing to risk it all in the process kiki palmer's performance just made the character that much more relatable honestly because i'm sure many of you listening to this have been there especially if you're someone who maybe comes from a family that has a business and you may have been planted seeds in your mind to you know create your own legacy separate from from this because people know about that family business but do they know who you are do they know who you are on an individual level what have you done to separate yourself from this business what have you done as an individual to stand out as outside of just being someone who is associated with a popular family business uh you want to be known for your own thing in this case emerald mostly I, I don't believe her motivations had anything to really do with saving the ranch as it mostly had to do with her getting this legacy she desperately wanted uh, and just carving that out, using this to propel her side gigs even further. And she would have this fame and forever attention, I would say, just because she was someone who managed to get a shot of a ufo in this case the jean jacket creature and you know she would be the source of said photo she would be the talk of the town she could use it to she she said something about actually using the using the photo to get money from it i know that's the whole goal of what they were doing a lot of people will say they find they found it pointless i don't think this movie is pointless in a lot of what it's presenting to you i would say the better term is is just maybe overly exaggerated but at the same time if you're someone who watches my screen videos or if you're just someone who's a screen fan in general or if you're someone who just follows a lot of people on social media you know that people are willing to do almost anything to get fame attention or to just get noticed and it really is simple as that that's the world we live in where people will do anything it seems like and not saying that's everybody but there's a lot of people who literally go to a lot of depths that you wouldn't go to take a lot of risk that you wouldn't take like, like for instance the exaggeration here is that these people are willing to risk their lives potentially get eaten by this creature just to capture a photo of it and profit off of it so that's what uh emerald story was here she 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 just wants to further establish her own legacy separate from her horse ranch that's what i was getting from it anyway but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and basically yeah she just wanted to get the credit that she feels is earned to her and not end up like her grandfather with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video